Okay, so today we're playing Nancy Drew and the Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Um, I love Nancy Drew games, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to hop on a call with friends that will help me investigate. So shall we get started? Sure. Okay. I am I am excited to do the Nancy. Yes, me too. <laughs> Alrighty. Welcome to my latest case, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Uh, yeah, I think we're doing junior. <laughs> I don't think I want to deal with some of the senior puzzles, so... Oh, good. Dear Ned, an, remember Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad um, has up in his office? Well, she just call? bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. <laughs> A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the 20s as his country getaway. We're talking major fixer-upper. Anyway, last night Sally called and she said she desperately needed my detective skills. She refused to say why over the phone. Naturally, I said I'd drive to Moon Lake immediately. But weird things started happening the moment I pulled up. First, this big tree fell down behind my car and has me totally blocked in. Oh. And then I discovered that Sally's gone. She yeah, left a note oh. that suggested something terrible happens here at night. She's supposed to call me from her car. So here I sit, writing to you while I wait for the phone to ring. It's nighttime, and although part of me is dying to know what frightened Sally away, another part of me is starting to feel a little uneasy. I'll let you know what happens. Ever yours, Nancy. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty sus, I'm not gonna lie. So... Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, okay. That's cool. So if you kind of turn, you can look around. I see a... Rotten floorboards. Watch your... <gasps> Are you kidding me? Did I die? You to the floor. Oh Rip my... Nancy. Oh my god, did we wow. actually died? That was <laughs> quick as hell. It is Dark Souls Nancy Drew Edition. Wow. To my latest case, Ghost Dog oh my god. <laughs> Remember Sally McDonald, the woman who took those photos that Dad has up in his office? Well, this? she just bought a house in Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. A gangster named Mickey Malone built it back in the Adams? 20s as his... Oh, okay. I accidentally... So, you don't want to go over there. Is... is here. Let's put this back. What is this? So, no? what's in... What do we have in the inventory? It looks like we have a letter that we received from Sally, whatever the heck this is, and a pen. Okay. Oh. Yes? Here's the phone. Hey, it's a cool one. God, I'm so nervous now about the floor. Where's the phone? Probably through that door, maybe? It sounds like it's coming that way. Or not. It's outside. What? What? It's stuck. It's stuck. It's How do I get out of here? here? Oh, here. I don't understand where the phone is. Is it- you think it's upstairs? Probably. It sounds close. No, it's- it is. Demented phone. Okay. Was it like in the cabinet? Oh, there oh, it is. There it is. Hello? Nancy, hi, it's Sally. We oh, have yeah? to talk fast because I'm in my car and my cell phone's running low, so we might get cut off. But did you see my note? Yes, are you alright? No, I feel awful bailing on you like that. You must think I'm such a flake. Yeah, I'm bitch. just worried about you. <laughs> What's wrong? I couldn't stand the thought of spending another night there. I knew you were on your way, but it didn't help. I just got too scared. What's to be scared of? It's so peaceful. What's to be scared of? <laughs> it's so peaceful and quiet here. Just wait until it gets dark. Then you'll see. What am I saying? Nancy, you shouldn't be there by yourself either. Why don't you just go get in your car and go home? Oh. Or drive to Philadelphia. My aunt's got plenty of room. Very sus. Oh, sorry. One of your tree trees seems to have other plans for me. One of your trees me. seems to have other plans for me. What do you mean? Mm. I'll just say A this tree one. fell down behind my car just as I was driving up to the house. I'm blocked in. Oh, the dead maple beside the driveway. Oh, they told me it was in danger of falling over when wow. I had the place okay. inspected. I just um. never got around to doing anything about it. Listen, 
Call M's Emporium. That's a store on the lake. Emily knows everybody. She'll know who to call if she decides to answer her phone. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not in any hurry to leave. You will be. Okay, look. I just <laughs> bought a little outboard motorboat. I haven't used it yet, but the guy who put it in for me said it should run just fine. It's tied up at the dock out front. Just get in it and go. Go anywhere. Just get away from the house. What? Oh, dear. Uh, this is, uh, concerning. What? Spasmophobia what edition. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> the dogs. Comes dog. Out of nowhere. They're outside howling and snarling. Teeth and claws. Horrible. Oh, yeah. Dog? Yeah, chihuahuas Hello? suck. Did you say <laughs> dogs? Hello? Okay, so we have phone numbers that we can dial, which I'm not going to do right now. Okay, okay. Check out squeaking mice. Mice? It's Ooh. music. It's not too bad. What? what is that? Are you? I thought that was Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I thought I thought Robert was being a dick or something. It was fucking around. me. <laughs> what is making that noise? Oh, it's just me, Benjamin the Butler. I just like to make ghost noise. <laughs> Hi, guys. What is this? What is this? All right, get your essay done. I hope it goes well. Vitus, Iggy, oh. Lucy, Xander. Oh, it's so this stuck. Oh, it's fuck. stuck. There it is. It's oh stuck. My gosh. It's stuck. It's stuck. Okay. It's brilliant. It's my okay. favorite part. Sandpaper. Um. Can't go over here. This thing looks dangerous. Can we open the window? No. Oh, is it this? What? Wait, okay. Okay, so we said different times, different dogs. Mm hmm. Four dogs, four dogs in the cabinet. And they have like a Wait. flamingo yeah. or like. There's flamingo there. Here. Okay, that that's gonna be a puzzle that we'll have to. Yeah. Okay. What? We have two loose ends. This is weird. Okay, so it reset. I think. We have two loose ends: the clock and the cabinet. It's nighttime. Should I go outside? Am I gonna die? What is it? Something's out there. Uh huh. Now look what you've done. Oh, oh it's the howling snarling dog. That was a strict area. At least Whoa. I think it was. So 3D. Never know for sure now, will I? Uh, excuse you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you startled me. What are you doing out here? Birds. I'm trying to look for birds. I'm doing birds. What are you doing out here? I like to make them explode. Uh... I'm Nancy Drew. <laughs> I'm staying in this house, and I heard a lot of weird noises, so I came out here to investigate. That was me, Miss Nancy Drew, calling in birds. And doing a pretty good job of it too, till you showed up. It's all my Where'd you fault. Come from anyway. <laughs> um, I'm staying here in the old Malone place. Now, why would you want to do a thing like that? The Malone house is no place for one young woman, let alone two. What? What do you know about the woman living here? What do you know about the woman living here? I talked to her a couple of times, but you know, the last time I saw her, she wasn't doing so good. She acted real anxious. Scared. You're sus. He's very sus, Birdman. What do you what think, do you was, think scaring was scaring her? scaring her? The dogs. The dogs of Mickey Malone. Legend goes that when Malone was finally arrested and hauled away, his four dogs went running off into the woods and were never seen again. Oh. People would just hear them, mm. howling like their hearts were broken every night until one by one, they all died and went silent. But every time someone tries living in the Malone house, back they come. Okay. Okay. 
What do the dogs do? What do the dogs do? Every night, ever since she moved in, you could hear them howling. And some nights, the dogs would appear outside the house, running around, snarling and barking and throwing themselves at the doors and windows. And then, they'd be gone. They're Hmm. buried in the cemetery just beyond the house, you know. Them and Malone, both. The dogs would attack her house? It's like they don't want anybody but Malone living there. Hmm. I guess they don't know he's dead. And so are they. Did they ever attack Sally? Did they ever attack Sally? She never gave them the chance. After the first attack, she stopped going out at night. Just locked the doors when it got dark and sat tight until morning. Why haven't the police investigated? Why haven't the police investigated? This isn't New York City, Miss Nancy Drew. All they got around here is one officious little park ranger. And all Jeff Akers <laughs> does is sit around all day trying to figure out how he can get himself transferred out of here to a bigger park. Ouch. Do you live close yeah, by? <laughs> I just come to Moon Lake in the spring to look for birds. Got an observation platform just up the path. Yeah. Kind of my base camp. And I've got a little outboard down there on the lake. Left my car at the big dock up lake. Don't really need it. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was going to say, why is he here if he knows yeah. that he Are those get murdered the ghost by dogs? dogs? Yes, ma'am. Which is why I think it would be a good idea if I went my merry way and you got yourself back inside that house. Good luck, Miss Nancy Drew. Oh, my God. Hey, Exodia. I'm, I'm amazed at his beautiful 3D face. I know. It's, a, it's an upgrade for the <laughs> How's it going? And uh, we're playing Nancy Drew, so I'm show. So I wonder what will happen if I like just wander out into the night right now. You'll probably do- well. Wait, can you save? Yes. Because we already died once. Yes. <laughs> Let's save. Should I just wander about and see if we die? Yeah, seems good. Let's just go out to the dock. She said there's it's a boat. It's not safe to take the boat out at night. She told us to get out. She was like, get out as fast as possible. Oh, wait, that looks like an area we can walk to. Where'd he go so quickly? He's he became one with the birds. Too. Yeah, maybe he's actually a, like a, a transmogrified bird. Ooh, treehouse. This must be Red's observation platform. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, can I... I can only look up here? All sorts of bird-related pornographic material. Yes, we've had the same thought. <laughs> oh, I can go up higher? No, nope, that's it. Um, heard of the books and shows. There's a show? Uh, interesting, I didn't know that. I've only ever heard of the games, like, when I was I a little girl. Was yeah. I didn't know there were books either. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, they... The books were the original Nancy Drew thing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Was how the origin of the Drew. The origin of the Drew. Um, yeah, I played some of the games when I was little. Oh, there's a scythe or whatever. What is that? Is that a scythe? Yeah, broom scythe. It's locked. It's locked. (laughs) Yeah, she sounded so sad. A face only a gnome could love. Oh, oh good a joke, key. Nancy. It's a D. It's a dick in a box. Honestly, I think the voice acting and music in these games are not bad at all. Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's very campy, but it's also not like it's. It's fairly well done, I would say. What? I like the music too. Some of the music is nice. Yeah, I do too. What is that? Like a bug sprayer thing? Like, or weed yeah. killer? It looks like a bug sprayer, but there's nothing I can interact with here, so I'm hmm. confused. Can you click the tank on the floor? Mm. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, good job, Nancy. Um, <laughs> Watch you die from poison. Yes, yes let's Probably. kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Anything now here? You light a mat and pour the gas all over here. Check the gnome. People always hide stuff in them. I thought I clicked on it. I'm like spam clicking everything. Um, Can you click the gas? Click the gas? Yeah, I tried Sorry. clicking that as well. Oh, okay. No. Just 
Do I just need to keep doing it? <laughs> Die, Nancy. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, right. Good job, Nancy. Oh Drew. fuck! <laughs> Nice. Okay, well, okay. The world's greatest detective. <laughs> She'd make a flowchart of all the possible deaths of an in this game. Shit. We could make an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, we could. Oh, wait, what is this? Is this my house? Okay, that's the house. So we went this way? Oh, no, we didn't go this way before. I better be careful. Oh. I think that was a warning. Nipper, how's it going? Stream is good. We got, we just started. Um, we're playing some Nancy Drew tonight. Some investigations. I'm trying to die, apparently. I can't go any farther, it seems. Oh, there's a lot of birds out at night. I'm lost. Just summoning powers. Oh man. Yeah, this is a. Uh, I have no idea where we are. Oh, I found something. Wait, go back. Maybe I you like... need to use some item on this beautiful rock. What is this thing? Personal data assistant. I like beat em ups. <laughs> I guess so. I heard. It here, interactive.com is a great place to learn about the latest detective techniques. I'll have to check it out when I get back home. Investigate the cemetery the bird watcher mentioned. See if there's a map somewhere in the house that will show the way. Met Red Knot, local bird watcher, told me strange story about the ghost dogs of Mickey Malone. Seems uh, to be a night no, owl. Funny joke. Bird joke. So, okay, cool. Can't use that. Hmm. I don't know what I do here. Maybe we need a big hammer or something. Who knows? Uh, fuck. I'm lost. I'm like really lost. Is this a way? Here? Oh no, that's are we there. In the, are we going in a circle? It seems like we no. are. Okay, okay, so. Right. Left. Straight. Left. This looks right. Going back home. No, I couldn't. I couldn't go any further. You can't go to the right. There you go. Right. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, Nancy in the future. In the woods. Yeah, sure. For sure, in the futures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, send me the games you guys were thinking of playing. Okay, I'm so epically confused right now. <laughs> Okay, here's a- we can turn- okay, that's this. Oh, there's another left we can take! Okay. And another right, and a left, and a right, and a right, and there looks like a straight and a left. Oh man, okay. Please get me out of this nightmare! My goodness. That looks darn familiar. No! Oh dear. Hmm. I'm really trying to get out of here. I have faith in you. Oh, we made it. We made it out. Okay, awesome. So then I think the shed was like over here somewhere. Right? Hmm. What is this thing? Oh. Uh, those look too rotten. And the one you took wasn't? <laughs> Wait, what was that? What did you just The obtain? door rattling. What? Or no, what What did you just obtain in the inventory? Uh, the plank of wood. Oh, it's okay. Um, how-
How did I get to that shed before? I don't remember. I don't this, looks shed, this looks shed-like. Yeah. Was it just on I'd different side of the house? I'd better wait until daylight. What was that? Was it just a different side of the house? Maybe. No, oh, no. You're going out. Yeah, because you went to the boat, and then you came back, and then you went somewhere else. To the shack. So I went It's not boat, safe to take the boat out at night. And then I came back, and I went out to the birdhouse area. Okay, birdhouse. Came back. And I was like, I'm not going home just yet. And I thought I... This is gonna take me into the scary. I better wait until daylight. Oh, this is the side of the house. Yeah, it makes sense if it was behind the house or something. But okay, well, what about yeah? What about that path there? Uh, isn't that the? I don't remember which one it was. Oh no no no! I'm not yeah, going in I, here. I trust, I trust your uh, sense of direction more than mine. Uh, maybe it was out here. I think I mixed it up. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was oh, yeah, here. Right, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. I was just This confused. is the, the gas chamber. A face only a gnome could love. So I got the key oh, oh, oh. here. Let's see if we can use the key on this thing. Oh, oh the yeah. key broke off. Oh, oh it's shoot. locked. Time to get some players. It's locked. There's oh, got no. to be another way to get this open. Hmm. There's got to be players or something. Yeah. I feel like you could literally like throw it on the ground. Yeah. It looks like a pretty weak box. So this is the thing where if we do this too much, we die. <laughs> Nothing else if I can do. You do it just the right amount. You'll have your mind expanded to new horizons. <laughs> I'm assuming we're gonna have to put something on the tip of that, and maybe, or we're gonna come to a place full of bugs that Nancy will refuse to empty. Yes. Um. Hmm. It seems like that's all we can do in here. So I guess we'll go back to the house now. Yeah. We have three loose ends: the clock, the Dog statues and this broken off the mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, good. Okay. What the? Oh, this shit. is not good. What? The dogs can open. What is happening? Oh, my goodness. These are some powerful dogs, man. Yeah, damn. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> I guess we're going upstairs. I'm going upstairs to sleep. When would I like to wake up? Never. Do I have to wait? Do I have to go to sleep? I don't think so. I think you can go back downstairs. It's over, right? Okay. I think it's over. What the heck yeah. is that easy chest thing? I don't know. I can't interact with it. Do you know when this game was made? Uh, this was 2002, I believe. This is one of the oh. earliest ones. Oh, Forest hey, Trail. Look at, oh my god, look at that. Is this us? Oh. Stone pillar, oh. so we walk to this log, fallen tree, and cemetery tree stump. Th those are our. Harry, thought you could use this map to the cemetery. You'll find lots of bait along the way, especially at night. The cemetery is real hard to find. I got lost a bunch of times. Happy fishing. Yeah. I also got lost a bunch of times. <laughs> So you're supposed to get lost. <laughs> Auntie, I'm really, really sorry, but I just can't face another night here. I'm going to my aunt's in Philadelphia. 
Door is open. Make yourself at home. We'll call you from my car. Please don't hate me for leaving you in a very dangerous house hey, that situation. that looked like bleach and something else useful. Hine something. Hmm. Poison a chicken and leave it outside? Oh, yeah. There you go. I opened this, right? Yeah. Sorry. That, that's the answer. Well, I mean, you know, I guess the dogs might go for it. True. Oh, water. Just what I needed. Hydrate. Get dead tree cut down. Oh, you fucked up whoever didn't do that. There's Sally. Yeah. Okay. What else can we look at down here without dying? You didn't let you click the crazy cabinet at all? No. Huh. I think we kind of looked at everything over here that we could look at. That was the dog puzzle. So I guess we do just go upstairs. Wait. So obviously we're not going to go outside. So there's two doors. There's that door. And then there's this side door here. Did both of them go outside? Yeah. Hmm. Wait. Give yeah, me a I second. agree. <laughs> okay. The moon's so bright, I won't need my flashlight. Oh yeah? Are we allowed to just walk out? No, no, no. Let's go check the other door. Mmm, no. Okay, let's go to sleep. Leaves that appear on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the other three. When swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the one who plays in the summer dew. When autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I who howls on mornings clear. And when winter comes and birds take flight, look to me to sleep through the long gray night. Hmm. Uh, I have no idea. We'll find out. So I guess we'll wake up in the morning. Sounds good. Wow, this music. I wonder if I can plank this area here. This music! What is it? Those floorboards need to be replaced. This doesn't look very safe. Okay, so we don't want to go there. It's still not fixed. It's still not fixed. Oh, okay. You can't leave it there till you have enough floorboards. Let's go outside then. There was this thing over here. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hmm. Let's try going to the boat. The boat's full of water. Oh, oh. I need to bail out the boat. I need to bail out the boat. So the we need like a... <laughs> the boat's stuck. Some kind of bailing device. That's how she fixes the floor. Yeah, replace it with some other rusty or er, er, mothy in wood or whatever she had. Yeah. Um, it was really nice of Sally to leave the death trap on the floor for you to find. Right? Let's go up here again. This must be Red's observation platform. Hmm, the lamp is gone. Let's try going to the cemetery, I guess. Like, try to make our way. Does it let you grab more wood and fix the floor? It or... said the rest of the wood was too, like, damaged. Oh, okay. Can try... That's the tree that blocked us in. Uh, those look too rotten. And there's this thing. So... It seems like there's... Oh my god, this is a nightmare. 
So when we walk in, we need to go left, right, right, left. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're gonna have to keep track. You got this. So left, right, Why does it look like there's two ways you can go? There are. Where are we? I'm confused. Did we enter from here or? No, these are dead ends here. This is Where's from the, the lake in the boat? Because I, I'm, is it behind the house? It I was wondering. Like I, I was trying to orient myself to that, but I didn't see it on there. We can go back. So this is the side of the house, and it seems like it's right out front here. Yeah, this is the boat. So then the on the map, is that like the bottom of the map? I'm guessing this is the house, and then this is the entrance into the woods. And it seems like you can okay. go in two... Oh, okay, okay. So it's starting here, right? So here, you go left. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. So the lake is right in front of that... Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So now we're That's, here, I believe. Yeah, okay. I, I agree. Right? Now we turn left. Is that right? We're right there. Then we should, we should, after turning left, we should see a log. Oh, wait. Is that a log? No, no, that or was just a plank. So the log um, should be up here, I think. Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> So that's where I came from, right? Oh no! <laughs> I have oh, no. lost. I have no idea. Hello? You, I know what you could do. You could take a picture of the map on your phone and use that as a reference. I I should do that. Um. Oh, yes, yeah, Snipper, I heard about that. Um, it looks very cool. I haven't played yet. I just saw, uh, like, a short clip of some of the parts of the prison map, and it looks really cool. I want to play it. I'm just, uh, like, taking a hot minute before I get back into it. Oh, the bird left. But yeah, it looks super awesome. I'm super pumped for new stuff in Phasmophobia. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's see if we can find any of the landmarks we're looking for. Yeah, I was looking, I was hoping to see that log, but I didn't see one there. Okay, I'm back at the start. <sighs> I feel like we're here. So. So the log should be the first thing we encounter. The log is up Wait, here, Wait, oh, no, though. no, you're right. The log is way further up. Okay, so it should be fallen tree that we encounter on our left. So we'll go this way? And then, like, this next Oh, turn. fallen tree. All right. We're not crazy. So we go... To get to the cemetery, we actually need to turn right here and see the log. Yes. Right, and then left at the log. This is a 90s game. It's a, uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's an early 2000s game, but they had some come out, like, in the 90s. And, yes, they are they were meant for young, probably females, <laughs> um, back in the day. And I used to play them, like, as a kid. And um, it's kind of like a spooky detective game. And I've just been wanting to play some more of them as an adult. So that's why... I am doing so now. But yeah, if you guys are playing tomorrow and need a fourth, I'm super down. Um, oh, Bluebird. Does the Bluebird just permanently stay here? Uh, I guess it really likes that tree. Mm -hmm. From here, yellow ribbon. Uh, we need to turn left.
Yeah, and then like such a pleasant mm, summer's day outside. You know, another one. Not a hint of hunted, murderous dogs anywhere. Reminds you of a Titanic mystery game you played as a kid. <laughs> yeah, I really like point and clicks. And yeah, if, if you guys are playing tomorrow, I am down to play. So, I think I can't go too wrong here, because there's pretty much one way. I hope this isn't blocking. That would be disappointing. Wait, did I get to the dead end? Oh, here. Oh, we found it! Oh, hey, no way. Okay, we did it. Waldo Matthias? 1876, man. Snooky! Snooky is dead! Rip! And she was a dog all along, I had no idea. Goodness, Oma Pearl. Hiffin Path. <laughs> Cranky. We're gonna have to use these tombstones in some puzzle at some point. Yeah, probably. And no problem, Nipper. I don't think these are the dog's names. I'd be surprised. I thought we got the dog's names at one point. Um, I think so. It might be yeah. in your data pad. Oh yeah, it might be actually. Find Bucket to bail out Boat. He'll probably be there during the night. Oh, so we can visit him at night in the observation platform. Find out how Sally's well water tested. Call Sally to tell her about the ghost dog attack. Okay, so we have to call Sally. Let me out. Stench. Marbles. We're so sorry to have lost you. Vitus? That sounded like a dog name. Yeah, these are the dogs. Xander. Rip. Lucy and Iggy. Yeah, these are the dogs. Hmm. Looks like paw prints. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's weird. Okay. Um, nothing I can do here. Oh! Hello, you. Alright, now we need to find our way back. This is gonna be interesting. Hmm. So I believe we're here, and we need to go at the first left to get back. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And then left, and we're out. Okay, cool. Nice. We actually didn't get totally lost. I know. I feel like I'm like slowly getting the hang of that place. <laughs> um. Okay, so we still have the broken off keys in there. Um, we still can't open that cellar door, right? On the on the behind the house. No. I feel like mm. we should. We have to call someone, right? We're supposed um, to call. We have a couple numbers we could try. Um, call Sally. So we'll call Sally first, and then we'll um, see what other phone calls we can make. No, not there. Oh yeah, you can put on the new new planks of wood on the floor. I think you have to have all of them in order oh. to like for them to stay, because it wouldn't stay if I just left one. Alright, Sally. Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, did you see them? Did you see the dogs? Yes, I did, and I can understand why you left. They were pretty frightening. But if it's okay with you, I'd really like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever is going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. Oh, jeez. I wish I were even half the trooper you are, Nancy. Oh, 
I have such high hopes for that house. Oh, man. All the beauty there, the wildlife, all the pictures I was going to take. It would break my heart to have to give it up. I need you to tell me everything you can about those dogs. They're black and they have yellow glowing eyes and they don't like me one bit. When's the first time you saw them? Well, let's see. I heard them the very first night I was here. I heard them almost every night, howling in the distance. But I didn't actually see them until I'd been here about a week. After that, they started appearing pretty much every other night. Um, did they always do the same thing? When they appeared, did they always do the same thing? Yes, come to think of it. They always came running up to the house, barking and snarling. They'd lunge at the windows, they'd jump up on the door, they'd run around and bark some more, then they'd run off. What are you mm. getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography, which reinforces my theory that you're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs who've been trained by someone determined to scare you out of your house at Moon Lake. Who would want to do that? My closest neighbor lives two miles away. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's off-season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three people the whole four weeks I was at Moon Lake. Which three people? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which three people? Let's see. The park ranger. I forget his name. Kind of a pain in the neck. Emily Griffin. She's the one who owns that store I told you about. And I ran into this bird watcher a couple of times. Had a funny name. Red Knot. I run into him too. Other than people I may have nodded hello to while getting gas or something, I swear those are the only people I've talked to at Moon Lake. Hmm. What about River Heights? Can you think of anyone there who'd want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? <laughs> you mean like an angry ex-boyfriend or something? Nope, I sure can't. Hmm. Let's start with this. Since I'm going to be staying here a while, is there anything I should know about the place? Well, let's see. I've got the water turned off because it's well water and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. In fact, if you could get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. So oh, many favors. And watch where you walk in so the we're, living room. Now we're Some of the floorboards are so rotten, you could fall right through. And I keep hearing these faint squeaks and rustling type noises coming from below the floor. I hope you're not scared of mice. <laughs> okay, thanks. I could really use some sandpaper. Do you have any stashed away somewhere? Sure don't. Try M's <laughs> Emporium. That's on the west side of the lake. And brace yourself if you haven't been there yet. The place is something else. Hmm. How well do you know the owner? I feel like I've known her all my life. She's so open and friendly. She likes to make it sound as if Moon Lake used to be a major hangout for criminals and degenerates. Which isn't really true and irks some people around here no end. But I figure she's just trying to make a buck. Okay... How do I go about getting your water tested? Try the ranger station on the east side of the lake. I've been told you can get some kind of kit there. I'm curious. Why did you characterize the park ranger as a pain in the neck? I left part of a ham sandwich on a picnic table once. Big mistake. From the way he carried on, you'd think I just made the FBI's ten most wanted list. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Emily says it's because I wrecked his dream of becoming super ranger or something when I bought the Malone house instead of the parks department. Me? Okay. I think he just basically okay. has a problem relating to people unless they're asking questions or breaking the law. Hmm. Okay. Fishy. Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? It's just junk left behind by previous owners. Came with the house. I've been meaning to take inventory and start pitching stuff, but I didn't. If they ever make procrastination a crime, I'm done for. <laughs> The wall hanging in the living room with a poem on it, and those dog carvings in that cabinet above the sofa. What can you tell me about them? Aren't they cool? They came with the place. Sold the clock. Apparently, Malone had them custom made when he built the house. In fact, they're all built into the house. They're still there because you can't move them. Wow. Yikes. Has the clock ever Has worked? Has the clock ever worked? <laughs> Not for me. Oh, but get this. One day, I was messing with the hands. You know, trying to get them to work. And all of a sudden, 
one of the four little doors flew open, and mm. instead of a cuckoo, this dog popped out and barked three times. It's a doggy clock. <laughs> that Malone, bad as he was, he sure loved those dogs. Uh, okay. Are Last you aware one. that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Yes. When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was ugh. and how small it was, I decided I could live with it, as it were. So, you didn't... Do you know if Malone is really buried there? The realtor said the cemetery was just a sham, that there's nothing under those tombstones but dirt. But he may have just been saying that so I'd buy the place. The only way to know for sure whether or not Malone is there is to start digging, and I'm certainly oh my not going to do that. <laughs> Talk to you later. Nancy Thanks will. Again, Nancy. Oh okay. man. So, so we, got, we got some to-do things. Yeah. So we have the store. Yes. Um. What else? Uh, we need to test the water. That's right. Bucket. Let's call Bess. I want to call Bess and see what she has to say. I love Bess. <laughs> Two, three, five, 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 four, four, six, eight. Nancy, how's it going? Hey, Bess. How'd you know it was me? <laughs> Telepathy, of course. Just another of my many talents. You are so full of it. She got caller ID, Nancy. So now, instead of hanging up on the geeks that always call her, she just doesn't answer the phone. Very funny. <laughs> so what's up? Uh, oh, big hint. Hmm. Try calling the police? I really should. <laughs> I mean, I can try. Believe it or not, on some nights, this house gets attacked by a pack of dogs. Sally's so scared of them, she left me here by myself. Did you say... Dogs? She couldn't have George. Dogs don't attack houses. Um. They were definitely dogs. They came out of nowhere and started leaping at the windows and scratching at the doors like they wanted to get in. Maybe that was just their way of being friendly. <laughs> These dogs were not friendly, believe me. And they had glowing yellow eyes. A bird watcher I ran into said they were ghosts. Ghosts? The man who built <laughs> Sally's place on Moon Lake was a gangster. The bird watcher said that the ghosts of his dogs show up every time someone new tries to live here. The place is haunted by ghost dogs? Like there's such a thing as ghosts. But it does sound like you've got another mystery on your hands, Detective Drew. Thanks for the follow, Kurogane. I appreciate it. Are you a Nancy Do Drew fan? Nancy Do. Um, hmm. There's a private cemetery in the woods out back. Malone and his dogs are supposedly buried there. Creepy. And there were paw prints in the cemetery. Fresh paw prints. Are you back. sure you're going to be all right there by yourself? We'd volunteer to drive out there and keep you company, but unfortunately my car's in the shop, and you know what a scaredy cat George is. That's okay. There's really no room, and believe me, living conditions here are pretty primitive. Scaredy cat, huh? You're going to pay for that remark, dear cousin. <laughs> Bye, okay. you guys. Good luck, Nancy. And stay in touch. I can I can definitely try calling the police. Nothing? Nothing? Cannot call the police. <laughs> well, I guess there's just that ranger guy, yeah. Um, so Bess is your general helpline, is that right? What was that? Bess is what? It's like your general helpline. Yeah. You call them, it gives you a tip or a hint. Yeah, it's like the hint line. Oh, you're you're friends with Good Boy Nipper. Ah, oh, nice to see you here. Then, this is kind of a like detective game. Um, it's interesting. So, hmm. I didn't see a bucket anywhere. I have a feeling it's in the cellar beneath the doors. We can't open or something like that. Hmm. Good. Good call. Let's see. Oh wait, wasn't this a bucket? Oh! Hey, there you go. Nice. Is there any water coming out? She said she shut the water off, but oh, I don't know. Oh, she did. Yeah. I need but... a bucket. You're familiar with Nancy Drew point and clicks? Nice, yeah. 
here. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if you turn it on. Is there a valve somewhere? Doesn't seem so, but we can use this bucket to get the water out of the boat. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I hope. Wow. The pro bailer. Oh yeah, screw it. Perfect. Now can we use the boat? Safety <laughs> first. Gotta put on my vest. Oh, we probably need gas. Spark plug is missing. Spark plug. Wow. I gotta have some torque. I gotta have some torque. Gotta have the some spark torque. plug is missing. Yeah, the screwdriver you can use it to remove the spark spark plug thingy there. Oh. I gotta have some torque. Wait, what can the I do with this? The spark plug is missing. The spark plug is missing. So those are. I'm not really sure. About... I gotta have some torque. Does this need to be unscrewed? I would think so. If, but I'm not. I mean, there should be a spark plug that goes in each of those. But if she says it's missing, does it let you remove it all the way? No. Maybe line up with a red dot in the middle. There's like a little I red. Gotta have some torque. See that little, the orange, oh. the orange line in the middle. Oh, yeah. I see. Maybe, maybe that's what it wants. Gotta have some torque. Gotta have some torque. It's stuck. Gotta have some torque. I gotta have some torque. Oh, we still need <laughs> torque. All right, well, this thing isn't going anywhere. Okay, let's go back to the shed, maybe? Um, let's see. So we got the, okay, so we got the bucket. We, we need pliers or something to rotate this key, as my guess. Yeah. Um. Hmm. There has to be somewhere, something in here that would allow us to open that cellar. I would tend to agree, like a crowbar or something. Can you use your planks of wood to like pry the door open? I could try that, yeah. <laughs> okay, Nancy, <laughs> no need to get high right now. <laughs> um, hmm. So the, you know what? No, never mind. Smash the garden gnome. <laughs> I, I would if I could. Kind of freaky. There's still. I can't take anything here. Still, oh, right? those look too rotten. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Screwdriver. I'm sure the screwdriver won't do anything. But... Nope. Why is, huh. What's wrong with the door? What's, I don't know. Why would you want to open? Is this the <laughs> water I take to get tested? And then we have this thing of directions. I think that's just to orient you for the map. That would be my mm. guess. Maybe, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> we need to go to the store and buy sandpaper, but <clears throat> presumably the only way to get there is with the boat. Mm -hmm. um, and we can't start the boat until we fix the spark plug debacle. Um, right. Uh, does so, it, after you adjusted those screws, did it still say that the spark plug was a problem? So these are still the right. The spark plug is missing. Yeah. It wants the spark plug up in that top thingy, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. I Let's gotta play. have some torque. Okay, mm. I don't know. okay, so you gotta find a spark plug somewhere. Mm -hmm. Um, where would you find a spark plug? Mm. Uh, how about the oven or the stove? This was the only one I could open. Is a this looks like what's a wood burning stove to your left or something. This guy? Uh no, to the left oh, this of guy? that? Yeah, so 
Does it? It doesn't let you do anything here. No, it's just fancy. Oh, boring. Hmm. Spark plugs okay. are found in automotive engines, so. But That's we only true. Have... It's a very good point. You could, if you, if your car is there, you could steal a spark plug from it, maybe. I didn't even see our car. Like our car is is supposed to be stuck out here, stranded, but it's not here. Hmm. At least yeah, I haven't it's, seen. It should be right by, well, in front of the tree, I think. But it's, yeah, we don't see it. Let's go out this way. I think here you can only go to the bird house or the bird watching place. Thought I have some torque. Thought I have some torque. Mm. Um. 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 <laughs> Question mark. Maybe I am gonna ask Bess and George for a hint. Uh, can. Can you look at the data pad again? Yeah. I'm wondering if there's a to-do that we've missed. Oh, ask Sally about the spark plug? Okay. Oh, pump's okay. Pump's not working. See if the ranger station has any information on how to fix or prime a pump. So we need to call the ranger station. I did this one. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I guess we have to make more we phone can, calls. We can call and ask about the spark plug. Mm -hmm. One, two, one, five. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. One, two, one, five, 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 three, eight, nine. You're gonna blow Sally up. Hello? Hey Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Your outboard motorboat is missing a spark plug. Is there one around here by any chance? I wouldn't know a spark plug if I swallowed one whole. Oh god. But you need that boat, Nancy. Right now, it's your lifeline. Oh. You can't use your car, and believe me, you can't walk anywhere because all the paths around the house end in this thick, horrible brush. You've gotta get it fixed. Wait a minute. The bird watcher. He's got a boat. Maybe hmm. you could borrow his spark plug or something. Go down the path that's to the right as you look out toward the lake from the house, and you'll eventually see his observation platform. Try him at okay. night. He never seems to be around during the day. Hmm. Great. Uh, Talk to you later. Spark. Keep me posted. So maybe we'll go to nighttime and wait out the dogs and then go visit him at his platform. Sounds good. Yeah. Is it dog time yet? How can I tell? I don't know. Maybe, well, he seems to leave when the dogs come, so maybe you can try him before the dogs. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, and, let's yeah, save. Maybe we should save. <laughs> I'd better wait until daylight. Aww. No water oh, okay. at night. I clicked the water thing by accident. Alright, let's go up. Hey. Well, it's Miss Nancy Drew. Ew, your voice. <laughs> Does that mean you'd like me to call you Mr. Red Knot? Alright then. Hello, Nancy. Now put a muffler on it, would ya? I wow. just heard a cerulean oh, wobbler. Oh, okay. Really? Are they rare? Something tells me they're gonna be with you around. Oh my god. You didn't come up here to chit chat, did you? He's so rude. He looks like a perv. Yeah, he's probably using the binoculars to look into the windows of Nancy's house at night. Do you know mm -hmm. much about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. <laughs> Why don't you like tourists? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, 
restaurant or motel for miles. Isn't Nancy like 16 or something? Yeah, I think she's pretty young. I, I don't think hmm. she's like an adult. I think she's young. You don't happen to have any spare spark plugs lying around, do you? What's a pretty young lady like you know about spark plugs? <laughs> oh, okay. Ew. Okay, asshole. Enough to know that the engine on Sally's boat is missing one, and that I'm going to be stuck here unless and until I replace it. I might be able to help you out. After all, I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> What is this human being? But I don't, don't want to leave you unprepared. But I don't want to leave you unprepared. Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. What? Question is, if I give you one, what do I get for you it? You probably took it out of my boat. Cash. Oh my god, Maybe he you wants... can take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? Oh my gosh. Take off all your clothes right here in my little hut. Sure. What would you like me to take pictures of? Birds, of course. There's birds. a couple of birds I'm supposed to take <laughs> pictures of for Pepsob. That's people for the preservation and study of birds. You can recognize them by their songs, which are on this tape, which you can play on my cassette player, which you're going to have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> Think you can handle that? I know I can. Here's everything you'll need. Wait, is he not giving me... M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? <laughs> only when I'm on fire. Uh, only when I'm on fire. Oh, you're a spunky one, aren't you? Well, these woods <laughs> may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the east coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do. Because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. Watch oh. yourself out there. Okay. This crazy man. So did he give us... Uh, th he gave us the spark plug, right? He did. Yes. Okay. Spark plug. And we need to take pictures of birds. But it sounds like we have to determine... In order to determine what birds, we have to listen to their calls on the tape. And then yeah. and we have to go to the store first. Okay. So first, I think first thing is spark plug, but maybe we should wait till the morning. Okay, well, no dogs tonight, it seems. Let's go to bed. A.M. That guy is so creepy. Yeah, yeah I yes. I totally agree. So pretty much like everyone is going to be a suspect, I'm guessing. Yeah, this, this park ranger wants uh, Sally out of his park. This, this uh, bird watcher guy is horrifying. <laughs> and uh, I, I guess we'll meet the shopkeeper. Oh! Okay. I... Positive, neutral, oh. negative, positive. So. Thanks. Positive, neutral, negative, positive. I think that's right. I think you're right, yeah. Gotta get that to work. Nice. Oh! Hi, man. The wow. I didn't put on the life vest. Oh no. What am You're I supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh, hello. Hey there. Welcome to M's Emporium. I'm Emily Griffin. My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. You know, the house Sally McDonald bought? Now what's she doing inviting guests out to that old dump? <laughs> As it turns out, I'm there by myself. 
The dog scared her off. I told her. I said, Sally, that old house is going to be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Just when we all thought they were finally resting in peace. Mm. When was the last time they appeared? Seems like they show up every time somebody buys the place. So the last time would have been uh, 10, 15 years ago. I caught a strange man prowling around last night. He called himself Red Knot. The bird watcher. <laughs> Comes in every so often to stock up on that weirdo food he eats. <laughs> you know how them tree hugger taps are. Okay, so this is interesting. So she said 10, 15 years ago they they came. So we're mm -hmm. looking for someone who has been here for at least 10 or 15 years. I'm curious when that park ranger arrived. Right. Has he been in the area Has long? he been in the area long? About as long as those pink-billed warblers and purple-eyed owls he's always chasing have been around. A couple of months, I guess. Oh, okay, so he's not been here long. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Oh my god, there's so much. Okay, here yeah. we go. Mr. Knott did me a favor, and in return he asked me to pick up a cassette player from you. Oh yeah, I got it right here. Thought maybe the old coot had forgotten he left it here. Mm-hmm. Thank you. What okay. else can okay. I do you for? <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll just go I down the list. I need to get the water from Sally's well tested. How would I go about doing that? Do you know? Just get a water testing kit from the ranger station and follow the directions. So Where's the ranger station? There. Just up lake from Sally's on the east side. Okay. Why would there be a problem with the water? Because it's well water. And seeing as well. Malone dug that well 80 years ago, what gets pumped out of it could be pretty funky. Okay. These so-called ghost dogs left very real paw prints. I saw some near the cemetery that's by the Malone house. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Can't say as I have. Poking around cemeteries ain't exactly a hobby with me. Hmm. Hmm. Does the Waldo name Mathias. Waldo Matthias mean anything to you? Hmm. Can't say as it does. This lady is a well of information. There's I know. a large tree blocking Sally's driveway. Do you know of anyone who can come out and clear it away? I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Gotta warn you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. Oh, Nancy, you're broke. Oh, no. A line of credit. That's just it. I'm running kind of low on cash. Would it be possible to start a line of credit? My daddy always said, neither a borrower nor a lender be. But I'll tell you what, seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. Oh, man. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Mm. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Wow. Hinter regions. <laughs> I've disturbed him enough already. Would anyone else around here have some? He's your only hope. Oh, but you fuck. better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Where do you find your. Uh, uh, Bless you. It's all mm -hmm. the dust. Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. It does. Some of those old bottles are beautiful. Where'd you get them? Found them. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be party central. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the feds suddenly showing up, while everything from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. Oh. Hmm. She's a sky avenger. So, it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. See, recovering objects from the lake bed is illegal. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. 
So thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Who? It's gotta be the ranger, I'm guessing. I, yeah. Squeaky Wheel Acres? Jeff Acres, local park ranger. I keep telling him all this stuff washed up on shore. But does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me? Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. Jeff Acres could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Now, I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. <gasps> but Jeff Acres, why, there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turned into one big, noisy, jam-packed state park. Why would he want that? He's the type of guy who likes to boss people around makes him feel important. So if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists, why instead of giving out maybe one ticket for littering every two days, he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours. Oh, he'd be in heaven. Well, hey, I'm sure you got better things to do than getting your ear chewed off by yours truly. Uh, guess see I'll you see you later. I guess hmm. you will. Oh. Okay. So we, we're looking for someone who's been here for a long time. Birdman has not been here a long time. Not sure about how long she's been here or the ranger's been here. Um, uh, sandpaper, we gotta ask Birdman. Mm -hmm. We gotta take pictures for Birdman as well. We have the tape player now. Uh, I should go like oh. that. M. Benson Aviation. Millie gets you there. Hmm. Millie Benson. What is that? A freezer? Should have, uh, yeah, probably. So we can open this. I'm not sure. Oh. Sure. <laughs> yum, yum. I'm assuming we might need that for birds eventually or something. Yes. Good thinking. Okay, that's it. 3D worms, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, let's get in the boat. So, she gave us the location of the ranger station. Yeah. yeah, I think we just, like, drive to it. Or boat to it. Sail to it. incredibly fast boat it is a very fast boat wow this looks fancy schmancy it does what's over here i probably shouldn't mess around with this without ranger acres permission damn it what about this health and safety tips well water hey look at all this Moon Lake is too far away from any major city for its residents to tap into a public water supply. Therefore, everyone living in the area must rely on private wells for the water they use every day for drinking, cooking, and bathing. Nowadays, wells are located and constructed according to requirements set down by the state of Pennsylvania, but a well does not last forever. Sooner or later, wells begin to lose their ability to keep out contami contaminants. For this reason, a well should be inspected every few years and its water should be tested at least once a year. Water can be contaminated by chemicals such as pesticides, ooh, and fertilizers, by naturally occurring elements such as arsenic and lead, and by waste-borne microbes which cause such diseases as dysentery, hepatitis, giardi giardiasis, See hmm. factoid on giardiasis under health and safety tips and cryptosporiasis. Spiridiosis. Oh my god, these words. Hmm. Well, well water that is contaminated may look and smell fine, which is why testing is imperative Ooh. to ensure they safety. Use the wrong insurer. I know. Should be Come a on, E. Nancy. Come on, Nancy Devs. On the other hand, well water that smells and tastes like rotten eggs may be perfectly safe. This unpleasant odor may come from the underground rock surrounding the source of the well water, but more likely it is caused by bacteria which, though harmless, live in rapidly multiplying colonies in the well and emit hydrogen sulfide gas as part of their life cycle. 
rotten eggs equals sulfur, right? I'm disinfecting. So much. Yeah, it's weird that it's saying that this could be safe. Disinfecting the well with carefully calculated amounts of chlorine can reduce or eliminate foul odors by destroying the bacteria which create them. The Grimley County Extension Service has more information on the shock chlorination. If your well is more than 20 years old, has not been used or tested for more than a year, or there is a sudden change in the quality of your water, immediately stop drinking the water and disconnect your plumbing and system from the well. <clears throat> then get a water testing kit from the friendly, ever helpful park ranger behind you. Take a sample from the well. See the factoid on priming and pump, priming a pump if your pump does not work, and send it to the address included in the kit. When working with water systems, large or small, always remember turning a valve to the right will shut off the flow of water, while turning a valve to the left will allow water to flow. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. The water wouldn't be safe. Sulfur is low in toxicity to people, however, ingesting too much sulfur may cause a burning sensation or diarrhea. Breathing in sulfur dust can irritate the airways or cause coughing. It can also be irritating to skin and eyes. Hmm. Interesting. So, kind of inaccurate information then. Priming a pump. Shallow wall pumps, which can lift water a maximum of 25 feet at sea level, operate on the same principle as a drinking straw. The action of the pump sucks air out of the intake or drop pipe that extends down into the well water. And when... A partial vacuum is created, air pressure does the rest, pushing water up the intake pipe and out the spout of the pump. Mm. Boom, science. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> no, go back. <laughs> when a pump seems to stop working, that is when it fails to suck any water up and out of the spout, no matter how much the handle is pumped, it probably needs to be primed. To prime a pump, simply pour potable drinking water into the top of it and pump the handle until water flows from the spout. It's a good idea to fill a container with water right away and keep it nearby so you'll have water the next time the pump needs priming. Interesting. Good thing we have a water bottle. Mm -hmm. Don't need to read the rest of that. Antivirus and Lyme disease? Mm. Oh no. Picks. I wonder if this is useful or just like fun facts. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we need to read through all of it. Antivirus. A rodents, okay. Oh, death. Uh, to avoid. Mmm. Okay, so we might have a mouse-infested house. Never sweep in an area where mice have inhabited. Okay. Rubber gloves, remove dirt with a damp towel mop or sponge. Double bag the cleaning material before disposing. Interesting. Poisonous plants. Poison ivy, poison oak. Three leaflets? Yeah, we know that. Touching the roots, stems, or leaves, touching something that has come into contact with a ruchiol. Like an animal, ball, or garden tool. Ball? Hmm. Barrier cream. Interesting. No smoking. Use common sense. Okay. Giardia. Sorry, I'm just gonna quickly look through these. Red chilled sister expelled into the environment. Blah blah blah. Two weeks after ingesting. Very contagious. Okay, well, hopefully. Oh, there's so many things! History! 
Oh my goodness. I wonder if... Or I wonder if the famous residence part might have a list of possible suspects. You're right. Famous residence. Oh, the dog! Doggies? Hmm. That looks like one of the dogs. Ben Franklin oh. spent the summer here. It's Ben Franklin. He's doing it. Mickey Malone, a gangster from Philadelphia who got rich smuggling and distributing illegal liquor. He was convicted of tax evasion and sent to prison, where he eventually died. Dang. Oh my glob. <laughs> oh my. Okay, I know how to, how to read Roman numerals. Yeah, they didn't they didn't skimp on the reading and writing. Mm-mm. Oh what my goodness. Of, I'm curious about Jeff Akers. Yeah, we can figure out how to make him uh, like us. He was born and raised in Tyrone, Pennsylvania. Upon graduation from Norris High School in 1989, he attended Penn State where he earned a bachelor's degree in park and recreation management. He has been the park ranger at Moon Lake State Park since 1996. Because he spent so much of his childhood at Moon Lake, he is excited about introducing visitors to what he calls the best state park in the country. From geology to astronomy to meteorology, Ranger Acres knows his stuff. So if you have ever any questions, just ask. He's here to serve. Yeah, I'm a little guy. Okay. Moon Lake was very anti-slavery. Cool. Hokely dokely. This is from Native Americans, it seems. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm done reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. You look Ooh, like a nice guy. Nice Hello. Can look I help you? Oh. Look at that dreamy man. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Sally McDonald. Are you the park ranger? Park ranger Jeff Akers, at your service. Let's see, Sally McDonald is the woman who bought the old Malone place. You knew that off the top of your head. Well, he supposedly only has like four neighbors. Mm -hmm. That's right, only she's gone back to Philadelphia. Malone's dogs got to her. Don't tell me she believes all that ghost dog stuff. Hmm. So you know the legend? I know almost everything about this area. Not only have I lived here all my life, but you're standing in the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. I'm its equally unofficial curator. What's your take on all this ghost dog stuff? Whatever's out there. I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Dogs. Living, breathing, very noisy, dogs. Hmm. Why do you think dogs would attack Sally's house? Dogs can be trained to do almost anything. True. Any idea what would make a dog's eyes glow yellow? Something in their diet, maybe? Some oddball vitamin or protein. What do you know about the cemetery behind the Malone house? People are buried there. Beyond that, what's to know? Hmm. Is Malone buried there? That's the rumor. The inscription on one of the tombstones reads Waldo Matthias. Does that name ring any bells? Not in my steeple. Okay. Oh, this is a man of many words. Yes. Do you have something I could use to test the well water at Sally's? Sure do. Simple to use, too. Just pump some water into this vial, return the sample to me, I'll send it off, and in a day or two, you'll find out whether or not your water's fit to drink. A day or two? I'm just gonna, like, be waterless for... Yeah, no one needs water. Do wells it's... go bad very often? Mm, depends on when they were dug. The older they are, 
the more susceptible to contamination they are. Hmm. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. Would it be okay if I looked around? Please do. And if you have any questions, any more questions, just ask. <laughs> Thanks mm. for all your help. That's you why I'm here. Oh, and as... one last thing. The deer mouse population has boomed this year, so please take precautions if mm -hmm. you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty diseases. Thanks okay. for the tip, Ranger Acres. Um, let's check the computer again. Do you remember when it said he came to this area? Uh, he was like, he like grew up here, right? I don't remember. And um, it said 1996. Oh, yeah, right. He grew up here. I'm curious how long he's been, like, uh, actually rangering. Where is it? Oh, here. Okay. Um, uh, 1989, like Penn State. In the park ranger since 1996. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it's been happening for like 10 or 15 years, and he only came in 1996, uh, and this game is set in 2001, I don't know. Hmm. I feel like he's probably not our suspect. But I feel like he's, he's so likable that it might be him. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, he mentioned the trained dogs and that they could be trained to do anything. Uh, he's a nature-y guy. Uh, so is Birdman. I don't know. Birdman was a Boy Scout. Voting regulations. Why are there so many regulations? Hmm. Because he's a regulation acre man. Okay, so what can we do right now? We can we have the tape in the tape player to try and find pictures for Birdman. We yes. we can do the water test. Um, we can uh, we can ask the Birdman to send paper. Oh, it's and so many regulations because it's a state park. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can try to do. I think we'll try to do the bird picture capturing next. How old is this tree? <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I guess we'll try. We'll do. Hey, we'll... Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! That was that was a doggy bed. Oh. And a bone. What is this? This hey, is sus. A dog. You're back. Thanks for all your help. That's he's, why I'm here. He's super sus. Where's his dog? Being a monster. Maybe we should take a picture of the bone. <laughs> <laughs> Set the forest on fire and be done with it. The dogs can't <laughs> hide if there's nowhere to hide. Oh my oh, god. No. Oh wait, didn't we say we shouldn't check the thing until he gives us permission? Didn't he kind of give us permission? I probably shouldn't yeah. mess around with this without Ranger Acres' permission. I thought we got his permission. I, I, yeah, he said feel free to look around. He did. Maybe we... Mm -hmm, up, mm -hmm. um, diary, uh... Oh, I thought she was maybe putting that in her inventory. Modern problems require modern solutions. Yes. So, okay. I guess we will... He took the letter from us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go do stuff at the house. Do the well water first because it's right here before we get lost. So we gotta prime it and then I guess we can. Oh wait, should we? It said have a container ready. So maybe we put the bucket. Uh. Or did we? It's lose down the there. No, it's down there. Okay. 
I don't think the Nancy Drew games really allow for arson. I don't think so either. I don't need water right now. Oh fuck! <laughs> I did need water for the sample kit. Okay, cool. More came out. Uh, where's that red thing at the top? Oh. Yeah, two. Yeah. Cool. So we'll leave that there, I suppose. And then... Let's, um... American Goldfinch. Oh, God. Northern Cardinal. Red-tailed hawk. Western tanager. We need pictures of all of these? I guess so. I'm guessing the Roman numerals is going to be a puzzle. Yes, I agree. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, red is probably we're not going to be back at the treehouse until night time. Night, yeah. Um, so we'll go take pictures, right? Seems fine. We'll just get lost until <laughs> we find birds. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie! I don't think that worked, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, you are not very effective. The log. Goldfinch gold song. Stuff. Where is the goldfinch? Is that the is that the camera? There it is, yeah. Nice. How do I take it? Oh. Whoa, cool. digital camera. Fancy. Fancy Nancy. So we don't even need to really like keep the dog the dogs, the tweet, birds. Tweet. Oh, Nancy, you are bad. <laughs> we don't need to know the the bird songs because they kind of just like tell it to us. I guess so. Okay, uh, maybe I should look at the map. I am lost. noise. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a crow. a crow. Okay, so we're at we're at the log here. It's supposed to be a bluebird like here. But we didn't see it. Hmm. I don't know if we have to venture deeper into the woods. Maybe. Like try to make it to the cemetery? Yeah, maybe something like that. Oh god, I'm back here? Why is it so easy to get to the stone pillar? <laughs> No. 
Oh my god, where am I going? I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, oh, wait, wait <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, in here. Look at your map, and then we can figure out where to go. Log. So we need to go left? Wait, no, that was- okay. Wait, yeah, we were at oh! The we got the picture of the yellow bird, so we need to go down. We need to go this way. And then okay. right. And left, right. We need to get to... That That's where the shoe is, so we need to take the first left when we get yeah. to two left. There you go. This one. So now, yeah. We're almost home now. Mm -hmm. Fallen tree, so if we go this way, we'll get to the blue bird. Yes. And then there's an orange bird, so let's go that way. There it is. There you Sounds are. like the, the bird from Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Cool. And then I think if we continue on, we need to go left from the yellow ribbon to get there. What's uh -huh. up? Robin. Oh, hello. Was that supposed yeah. to be the orange bird? Uh, I guess so. I don't know what the other bird would be. That looks orange. It's like... Brown. <laughs> Panager's song. But where? We were close. I just don't know what way to go. There you are. Huh? This looks like the orange bird. I must have scared it. What? Oh no, what? Nancy. How did I scare it? Can I you go have to back? Leave and come back. Yeah. Oh, do I have to completely leave? Oh man. Oh, Nancy, what did you do, Nancy? Okay, this is the yellow ribbon. We can go left and get to the cemetery. Yellow, yeah, yellow bird's over there. Wait, where's the? Okay, so that way. I think that was was the tanager the yellow bird that I missed. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey. How are we supposed to not scare it? Maybe Come we back! Put it on a, How? I wonder if we need to. I wonder if we need to put on like a camouflage suit, or if, or if we can put on the safety vest and it'll think we're one of its own. <laughs> maybe that's the one we need worms for. Oh, maybe. That's a good point. Let's see. So it would be um, what the yellow uh, left up here, and then just straight, and then a right. So left. Right, left, left. Right, left, left. And then now we're. Yeah, it should yeah. Be, yeah, I guess you're right. If it seems so far away, but I guess not. What should I do? Can we put the vest on? I'm sure that's not what we we're supposed to Here, do. Here, but... birdie, birdie, birdie! Oh, it's the worm for sure. Okay, okay. I think you're right. So we gotta find enough money to Here, buy a birdie, worm. Birdie, birdie. From M. I must have scared it. Nice. Come back! Oh, this uh -oh. one too. These are the hard mode birds. And then we haven't seen the the falcon anywhere, so I don't know where that will be. You have to put out a small dog or cat. In a I don't know where I am. Oh, wow, we made it. <laughs> Good job. That was nice. Okay. Um. All right. So, what else do we need to do? We um, can drop off the water sample. That's true. That's true. Did, can you check out that barrel? Does it let you click it? No, I've okay. I've tried. Let's just drop off the water while we have it. Yeah. I'm guessing she's gonna be like, "How do we take pictures of those birds?" And it's gonna be like, "You need bait."
You're back. I have the sample. I have that water sample. What do I do with it? Just give it to me, and I'll take care of it. Thanks for and all your it. help. That's why I'm here. And drink it. Yeah, take a sip. Test it yourself. Um. Well, look at the, like, little notepad thing. Let's see what we need to do. What a cool job. She just gets to nap anytime she wants. Mm hmm. Definitely doesn't have to deal with any creepy old men. Before we go out, let's just save. I wonder if the hawks come out at night. Maybe. I mean, I they are daytime birds in real life. I, I, I don't know anything about hawks. You find all the birds? I found some birds, but no matter how quiet I am, I've been scaring other birds away before I can take their picture. What am I doing wrong? You're wearing those clothes. That's what, what? you're doing wrong. You need to blend in, like oh, me. Oh, no. Go back over to M's tacky oh, tourist yeah, trap and get yourself some camouflage gear. <laughs> Only sensible thing that money grubber carries. Wow, okay. I'm sorry to keep bugging you, but I need some sandpaper. Emily said you might have some. Here, take it and scram. I was wow. just about to call in a metal lock. Okay. That was always Ruth's favorite. Was Ruth your wife? Good heavens, no. No. Oh, my my wife had no patience for birding. Ruth was my dog. Border Collie. She'd hear a metal arc, and by golly, her ears would perk, and she'd cock her head, and she'd just come as close to smiling as ever a dog could. Do many people <laughs> around here own dogs? Mm -hmm. Not really. Most people Anderson? don't bother. The place is surrounded no. by park land, and Ranger he Acres just where loves enforcing oh, the God, leash ew. laws. <laughs> there it is again. Take your sandpaper and go sand something, okay? <laughs> How's no. the bird watching coming along? I'm sorry, but finding those birds is harder than I thought it would be. Can you give me any tips? You gotta look for them. This isn't gonna be any Sunday picnic, you know? And try early in the morning. That's when most of them are singing. All right. All right, you pretend See you in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird. Jerk. I wonder what happens if we go to the cemetery at night. Like, I wonder when the dogs attack. It seems, like, random. It's it's in the evening, but it uh, he seems to go, like, leave around that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What birds come out at night that this man likes? Are there a lot of night birds? I guess owls. Yeah, owls. It's stuck! It's what? stuck! Nice. Okay. Wait, are they supposed to be a certain way? Uh, I wonder if they're supposed to be matching the way that they're facing their graves they're facing, because the there were two on either side of the like center aisle in the graveyard. Right. No, I think it was Xander and Vitus on one side and Iggy and Lucy on the other. I wonder if that. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Uh, north, south, east, west, and I wonder if the puzzle here. Oh no, I don't want that. Four dogs, four directions. Make my These... birth different from the other three. Okay, so the spring one is different from the other three. And swans. I am shimmering blue. Okay, so one of the cuckoo clock things had swans in it. Hmm. An autumn call brings out the deer. One okay. of them had a deer. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. Winter comes and birds takes flight. I, I wonder, this is a stretch, but with the, when they come out of the clock, are they facing different directions? Let's look, because I don't quite remember the clock. That one's yeah, a tree. 
Yeah. Each of them are six and this season. Alright. Tree? Tree. I think so. Also uh, birds. Wait. Uh, Trees tree. again. That's the same. So that's different, run, right? The top two are birds, and the bottom two are trees. Yeah. Well, one of them was deer last time. Yeah, I remember that. I wonder if every time we trigger it, it changes, like trigger each individual one. I don't know. Do you have control over what time it's setting, or are you just, is it just doing itself? It's just doing itself. I, I can't seem to... Oh! Or you can just click on the number. I can't click on three, four... These are Roman numerals, though. They certainly are. Can't click on so that one. Me. Did okay. it actually go to two? No. You click on two. You can go to two. The heck. The heck. The heck. That one didn't do anything when I clicked it, so... Wait a second. Let's read this. I bet the poem in the kitchen is the solution to the dog puzzle. I just need to associate each dog with a season and a symbol. Deer, swan, birds tree and point the dog to the correct living room wall. Oh! Okay, that's easier than I okay. thought. I don't, Oops. I don't quite get it, but I believe you. So, bird wall. Uh, okay. Deer. Sneaky, sneaky. Tree. Tree indeed. Okay, so we need to figure out what dog goes where. We know something said which one was associated with, like which name was associated with which one. Yes, so we have all of the dog's birthdays. Somewhere. Okay, okay. so okay. Vitus is going to be... Winter, okay. Is that winter? Yeah. No. At the what? end it says winter. Oh, winter. Okay. Vitus is winter. Xander is summer. Lucy is spring. And Iggy is fall. I need to like write this down. I'm going to... You take a picture. I could take a picture. That's pretty easier. But that's not very detective-y. got to break out your notepad. <laughs> no. Too bad. Picture. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so. And the wall, that's the deer wall across from us. Bird walls to the left. Okay, so. What's what this? Is the poem today? Like, we can start with winter, right? Vitus was winter. Mm hmm. Uh, Swans are kind of over there. Wait, what? That's a. Yeah, let's look at the. Oops. Is it deer over here? I'm confused. I agree. Is it just the same wallpaper everywhere? I thought not, but it seems. Okay. Spring tree. Swan, shimmering blue. Summer. Swan, summer. Autumn, deer. Winter, bird. Oh wait, there's a tree right there. That's a tree. That's a definite tree on that wall. And then... So the tree was spring? Or... I don't remember what the tree was. Um, shit, I should take a picture of that. Okay. Let's just turn what, whatever one is to the... That one's definitely... I think whatever picture is the darkest. So that one's the deer. 
And then that's birds over there. So, okay. Birds I think we've got this. And the B one is, Vitus is winter. So you can, Vitus can go to the left, I think. Iggy fall. What was fall? Fall was, was Iggy. And the tree is to the right. I can't remember if it was tree or for fall. Lucy spring? Yeah. Lucy, spring was, was spring, spring, spring was either deer or, I don't remember, the other one. Spring is, oh wait, spring is the tree, and then, wait, so Iggy is fall, okay, so deer. Iggy goes straight, yeah, and then Xander has to go, oh, yeah, what? what? what oh, but this? we can't go across it until we have all the... <laughs> that this doesn't look very safe. Damn it. It's still not fixed. Gotta get more wood. We ha oh, dang wood. it. So close. Okay. Where are we gonna find more wood? Hmm. hmm. What is this pen yeah, for? Maybe we should go to the cemetery again. Sounds like a good time, right? Absolutely. Find a bird along the way. Maybe, yeah. Ooh, is that an owl? Sounds like a mechanical owl. If you get there, I'm going to be very impressed. I think I just took a wrong turn. There, we're almost there. Oh my god, no, no. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I have no idea. Hmm. Hmm. No wood? Yeah, we haven't found any more wood, have we? Um, so when you, when you take the boat to the other locations, there's no outdoor areas to walk around, are there? No. It's just going straight into the shops. Okay. We do need to go back to M's. That's right. Probably not open at night. No. And we gotta get our water kit back to Benchmark in a few days. Mm-hmm. Um, we still gotta open the cellar door somehow. Hmm. Damn it, I'm lost again. I always get lost on the way back. <laughs> there we go. Wrong way. Right? No, I took another wrong way. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I wonder when the dogs spawn. Don't know. We know her phone number. I wonder if we should call anyone. Oh, maybe we should. Maybe we can make a late night phone call. Let's call Bess and George first. No, not it. We haven't been attacked Nancy, how's it again. Going? This Only caller ID time. stuff is going to take some getting used to. I'm here too, Nan. What's going on? Moon Lake is gorgeous, but it's so remote. The park ranger is the closest thing they have to a sheriff around here. Park ranger? What's he like? Which, as we all know, is Bess's way of saying, park ranger? Is he cute? Not true, George. Nancy thinks everybody's cute, so what will be the point? 
<laughs> anyway, Nancy, you were saying? His name's Jeff Akers. He's very helpful, polite, efficient, knowledgeable. Sounds boring. In fact, he probably knows more about the area than all the other residents of Moon Lake combined. Sounds very boring. <laughs> What's he know about these alleged ghost dogs? He thinks they're just plain old dogs that for some reason like to run around at night scaring people. And what does Detective Drew think about the dogs? I think Sally had good reason to be scared of them. I don't blame her for leaving. Which leads me to think that maybe that was the whole idea. Somebody had those dogs attack Sally in order to scare her away? Why would anybody do that? She was there for less than a month. You'd have to be a total creep to make enemies that fast. And Sally's one of the nicest people I know. Ooh, Nancy! Speaking of cute guys, Frank and Joe Hardy called. I filled them in on where you are and what you're doing, and they're dying to hear from you. Wait, is that a reference to the Hardy kids thing? Boys? Yeah. I have no idea. Is that... Hold on, I want to look it up Nancy's, real quick. Nancy's booty call. Yeah. Hold on. I'm just interested. Mmm. Mmm. She is in a remote it is. cabin it's nowhere. It totally is a reference to that. Nice. I guess that was the boy version of these games. Oh yeah? <laughs> what are they up to? Compared to you, nothing. As I was telling them about this latest case of yours, I could hear them turning green with envy right through the receiver. <laughs> Their number is 280-555-4865. Hmm. Best didn't recognize it when they called and almost didn't answer the phone. Good thing my cousin here has a memory like an elephant, huh? Oh. What's that supposed to mean? Call them, Nancy. They're dying to hear from you. But remember, Frank's cute and all that, but George and I want to hear from you, too. Yeah, no fair discussing the case with them from now on and not with us. Promise you'll keep us up to speed? <laughs> I promise. Did I mention that all the water in Sally's house comes from a well? Ew, really? Does it taste like rotten eggs? Not all well water tastes like rotten eggs, Bess. I don't know if it does or not, because the well is so old, I need to get the water tested before I drink it. Good plan. Nothing will wreck your day faster than a nice tall glass of contaminated water. This bird watcher I met has got me taking pictures of birds for some survey he's doing. He's a bit of a grump. Does he live nearby? No, he just kind of hangs out in the woods. In fact, I only see him at night. Interesting. He's in the woods at night. The dogs are in the woods at night. Could he have had a reason for wanting Sally out of the Malone house? As far as I know, he and Sally were on good terms. But I also know that Red doesn't seem to have much use for any life form that doesn't molt. He sounds like my uncle Zach. He's into birds. Only he doesn't watch them. He hunts them, then shoots them. I never really liked my Uncle Zach. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. I can't believe the key to the padlock just fell apart like that. I know. The lid to the crate is on hinges, right? Just use oh your my screwdriver, God. take hey, the screws out of the work. hinges, and lift the lid. That's oh, I'm stupid. Bye, you guys. No, See ya. Bye. Uh, should we call Sally? Should we just go down the list and see what everyone has to say? Gotta, gotta call Nancy's booty call. Mm-hmm. The Hardy Boys. Multiple Hardy Boys. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Sally. It's Nancy. Nancy, hi. How's it going? Talk, Talk to, to you later. later. Hey, Joe. It's Nancy. Nancy? How's it going? Uh, no, wait. Don't answer that. Talk about the weather or something. The weather? Yeah. That'll give me time to grab the other phone and take it outside. Frank's washing the car. He'll kill me if he misses anything. Uh, here, wait a sec. Take a break. It's Nancy. Hang on. He's putting the hose down. He's drying his hands. Wow. He's walking over. Nancy, hi. What's up? Bess and George say you've got another mystery on your hands. Or should we say... On your paws. They told you about the dogs? <laughs> we made them tell us everything. Pumped them dry. As you uh, guessed, we're not exactly dry. Wow. Them. So you're living vicariously through me. It's not the first time, sad to say. What conclusions have you reached so far, detective? I'm convinced that someone is using those ghost dogs to scare Sally into abandoning Malone's house. If I can just figure out why... I might be able to figure out who. Never hurts to look for motive.
If nothing else, those ghost dogs are very well trained. I'm watching to see who owns and or trains dogs around here. Good plan. But don't forget, a really smart perpetrator is going to make it look like he or she has no connection to dogs whatsoever. But then a really, really smart perp might have dogs all over the place and not bother to hide it, because he or she would figure you'd never suspect anyone so obvious. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of dog. Emily Griffin ownership. doesn't seem to have any dogs. Uh oh, yeah. move her up on your suspect list. I'd move her down. You know, Joe, wow. something tells me we're not helping. Yeah. Malone and his four dogs are supposedly buried in a little cemetery near the house. Frankly They've all nasty. got headstones <laughs> inscribed with when they were born and when they died. That's interesting. Them dry. Did Malone have family? Not that I'm aware of. Then who had the tombstones inscribed? That's exactly what I was wondering. Sounds like this latest puzzle of yours is still missing a few pieces. I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? We can probably come up with a few, but we're not going to make it easy for you. After all, it's your case. Rude. Oh just my god. Just because that key disintegrated doesn't mean you can't get to those tools. Okay. You'll just have to do a little thinking outside the box, that's all. Lighten up. Free your mind. It's the same advice. Loosen the screws. <laughs> Don't be afraid to become unhinged. You might be surprised <laughs> at what opens up. Later, guys. See ya. Get out of here. guys. Almost finished right, with so the essay. Two more pages that I remember writing essays, and two pages feels like forever, but you're in the home stretch. Good luck. Thanks for stopping back in. Gosh, that's a nightmare. I hope you get it done. Should we go outside? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm scared. Dogs. Oh, wait, it's not this way. It's that way. Oh, come on. Nah. Cool. All right. Hammer. That's a cool. Gas mask? Oh. Gas mask? Okay, we're going to use that for hantavirus or smoking out the thing with the pesticide. Can we wear the ma gas mask? <coughs> oh, no. What do we need the hammer for? Um... I wonder if we can hammer the uh, attic door, the cellar door. Hmm. Back it open. Maybe. I wonder where we find the rest of the wood. I feel like we've been all over the place. Mm hmm. Nothing else in here that we can take? Try the cellar door. I'm I'm pretty sure they're young gassed. I think they're really young. Um yeah, let's try it. This is a hammer and nails it looks like. Oh. Like you see there's like nails. Oh there? you're right, hammer and nails. Oh uh, that's probably how we fixed the darn floor. Mm-hmm. Maybe I wonder if we have enough wood and we can just nail it. Probably not. We can certainly try, but I think we need more because it seemed very like... Like two pieces of wood. <laughs> yeah, it was not enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Nancy and friends are young. Is this enough? Oh, is that was that it? I hope so. Hey, look at that! Oh yes, oh yes. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Don't want to die. I revoke my slightly lewd joke about whoever Frank is. It's the Hardy Brothers. Uh. Flashlight. Oh yeah. Oh, this is scary. Oh, oh spooky, spooky, spooky. So there might be rat poo and hump virus around here. True. 
green down here. Whoa. Where you burn your dolls. Yes. It's, yes, that's where you burn dolls. I don't have gloves yet, though. Whoa. Oh my god. What is this? Hopper. Cheek died. Black Tuesday. 14th State Hotel Fire. Uncle Clayton died. M.M. Pinched. That's M Malone, right? I think it, maybe, probably. Is it like dates oh, or combinations? Oh, nice combination. making that sound. No mm. way. No way. No way is it written on that piece of paper. It's blocked. It's blocked. It's blocked. Did we even take that piece of paper? It looks like it it's disappeared. It's blocked. What do you mean it's blocked? It's so blocked. Distress. It's blocked. It looks like a tiny hole. Tiny hole, you say. Screw driver, pen, nail. It's a seven page it paper. It looks like a tiny hole. That's still a lot of pages, but yeah, it could be worse. I've, I, I'm sure you've gotten the ten pagers before. It looks like a tiny okay. hole. It looks like we can't do anything with that just yet. I wonder if you no no. I wonder if you take the hammer and smack it. What's the combination gonna be? I don't know. Uh, Is it all the date? Out. Oh, it's the date he was arrested. Ah uh -huh. ha! That's very good. I think it's the date, and that was at the. When, um, when it's arrested. blocked. It looks hmm. like a tiny hole. It, I think that might have been in the computer Reserve. at the park ranger. Mm -hmm. There's another door. Can't do anything over here. I see like an outline of something here. I am assuming it'll be a door that'll like pop open. You're probably right. Wait. Oh, this is to the outside. Wait, I saw. No, don't make me do it. Not on stream. William Akers? No, he I wonder if he's related to Jeff Akers. <laughs> Thoughts on Thuggery by Ethan Collier. Truth about Mickey Malone, as told by his most trusted employee. Ooh. William Akers? William Akers? What this is sus. So, Mr. Akers Park Ranger is a descendant of Mickey Malone's, Malone's most, most trusted trust employee. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It's D gotta be him. And he has the dog and he's a man of nature. Mm hmm Do it do it on another stream. I don't wanna do it here. <laughs> Mr. Malone has never spent a night in jail and he never will, said William Akers. And you know why? Because he's not just an ordinary Joe trying to run and run and what did wait wait where did I go? run an ordinary business he said this was he said this with such conviction that for a moment this reporter honestly thought acres was talking about somebody other than mickey malone the notorious gangster but i was standing on the porch of malone's getaway home at moon lake having a brush whack th through having God damn it. <laughs> Having bushwhacked through thick brush from the east side of the lake to avoid detection and probable eviction by his bodyguards. And I was talking to the man who, according to the police, is the only person Malone trusts. I ought to know. I see him every day, Akers went on. He doesn't deserve all the grief you newspaper hacks give him. He's a rich man because his laundromats are fine establishments and people like to wash their clothes there. All this talk about him being a bootleg. Uh, where was I? I lost it. All this talk about him being a bootleg is just a plain hogwash. 
When I asked if I could talk to Malone Acres, if I could talk to Malone, Acres said Malone was out walking. Like I said, he's an ordinary guy who likes to do ordinary things. When I asked if I could wait for him, he said, What for? Anything you want to know about Mickey Malone, I can tell you. I've worked for him for 15 years. When I said all I wanted was the truth, he said, Then you're in luck, because that's what I just told you. And now I suggest you leave. Mickey's a swell guy, but he's got these four big dogs, see? And sometimes they don't mind so good. I want to do like a gangster voice and be like, Eh? <laughs> I took the hint and left, but as I struggled through the brush to get back to my car, I realized something. Acres hadn't told me the truth about Mickey Malone did. I knew that, but he had told me an important truth when it came to what Mickey Malone was. Someone who had at least one extremely loyal employee. I ask you, good citizens of Philadelphia, how many so-called le so -called legitimate businessmen can say the same? Hmm. True. <clears throat> Thought some thought Grace such a headline, yeah. Ah, we're out. So we're gonna need to get uh his date of um when he was arrested. Let's go to AM. Actually, you know what? This might be a good place to stop because we have a couple points where we need to check and I didn't want to do a late stream tonight. So I think I'm going to close sure. off here. And... Yep. I think we and have gotten into the thick of things. Yes, we have gotten far. Um, so I think I will end the stream there for tonight. It was just a chill stream playing Nancy Drew. Um, and... Yeah, that's it. Good night. Thanks anyone who was in chat hanging out. Um, hopefully this game isn't too terribly boring. Um, this one is a little bit different than the Nancy Drews I tend to like to play, um, but I still like it.